Hello and welcome to this video in which we will describe ethmoidal artery scotterization surgery using precaruncular approach. After a mucosal infiltration anesthesia, including adrenaline as a vasoconstrictor, we proceed to the mucosal precaruncular incision. The next step is the subconjunctival dissection in the plane between hornous muscle medially and the orbital septum laterally. Thus, the lacrimal sac is always protected by hornous muscle. Palpation of the posterior lacrimal crest is a good surgical landmark, giving the general direction of the dissection. Once the periosteal level is reached, it will be incised vertically behind the posterior lacrimal crest. We are now able to begin the anteroposterior subperiosteal dissection. As we can see, this surgical approach allows a good exposure of the medial orbital wall. However, this step must be done always keeping the tip of the instrument in sight. We here use a thin endoscope to follow the tip of the cotal septum elevator. As we follow it posteriorly, the lamina papyracea becomes thinner and very fragile, as demonstrated by this small fracture. We can now visualize the anterior ethmoidal artery between the lamina papyracea and the orbit. We cauterize it on all its length with bipolar electrocautery before cutting it with scissors. Cutting the anterior ethmoidal artery far from the medial wall prevents it from retracting in the nasal cavity and allows us to further cauterize it if an arterial backflow bleeding occurs as it is the case here. Our next step is the subperiosteal dissection towards the posterior ethmoidal artery. Once visualized, we cauterize it similarly to the anterior. A quick nasal endoscopy is performed, here assessing the fracture of the lamina papyracea to ensure that no active bleeding remains. We end the intervention by inserting and inflating a nasal hemostatic balloon catheter.